If you know anything about travel films on the internet, you're probably familiar with Sam Colder. He makes some really cool videos and has a very unique, interesting style. And one of the most recognizable trademarks of his style is this teal and orange color scheme. The style of grading that he uses isn't really one that I like, but in this video, I wanna really quickly break it down for you and show you how you can achieve a similar look. The software that I'm using to grade my footage is a completely free program called HitFilm Express, but if you're using Premiere or Final Cut, then you have access to similar tools and you can take the techniques that I talk about in this video and apply them to your own software. The first of those techniques is to use curves to adjust the brightness and contrast of our shot. If you look at Sam Colder's footage, you'll notice that there's often a lot of sky detail preserved. You don't have really blown out clouds or an overexposed sky. So while you're grading, you want to make sure that you're not pushing the highlights too far and crushing the brightest parts of the image. Since you're trying to preserve that detail in the sky, you're probably going to end up underexposing the shot a little bit while you're filming, so you can correct for that by just brightening up the midtones of the image a little bit. Moving on to the darker parts of the image, if you look at Sam Colder's footage, he often doesn't really have black pixels in the shot. It's more of a kind of dark gray. So I'm just gonna take the black point of the image and move it up a little bit and then add more contrast by taking the parts of the image that are dark but not quite black and pulling those down. He tends to not go for a very high contrast grade, so you want to make sure to not push these too far. The next adjustment that I'll add to my footage is called hue, saturation, and lightness, and this is the effect that we'll be using to get that teal and orange style. The colors used in Sam Colder's footage are unique because there's not a lot of range of color. It's basically orange and teal without much in between. So when you're grading, what you want to do is basically just pick a shade of orange as well as a shade of blue, and then using this hue, saturation, and lightness effect, push all of the colors in your shot until they're one of those two colors. I'll start out with the green parts of the image, which I will desaturate and then shift closer to yellow. Then moving on to the yellow and red parts of the image, I'll take the red channel and shift that closer to yellow and shift the yellow channel closer to red. So they basically meet at a kind of neutral orange. Now that we have the orange for that teal and orange look, we can move on to creating the teal, which I'll do by just taking the blue parts of the image and shifting them a little bit closer to turquoise. You'll very quickly notice that the bad thing about grading this way is that shifting those red and yellow colors can really mess up the skin tones in your shot. But apparently, if you're Sam Colder, that's fine. Most of his shots have a really weird skin tone that's either just too red or too yellow or too pale or too saturated. It's just always a little bit off, and I think that's what makes me not like this style too much. So make sure that you're being mindful and cautious of that. Moving on, you'll see that most of Sam Colder's footage has this kind of teal cast in the shadows, and we can replicate that using another curves adjustment. Using this curves effect, I'll add some blue into the shadows of the image, and I'll also remove the red, which basically just adds in cyan. It's a very subtle adjustment that you might not even notice, but it helps to add some color contrast to the shot. Finally, just add some really crisp sharpening to that clip, and hopefully at this point, you've successfully replicated that teal and orange travel video style. And as I usually say with these kinds of videos, do what you can to not rip off an individual style. Use these techniques and aspects of this style in your own work if you like them, but you're not going to get any better by completely taking something and just replicating it yourself. But that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do feel free to show your support by leaving a like on the video or even subscribing to my channel. I upload new filmmaking and video editing tutorials every single week. Keep creating and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.